This, oh my God, this, this is literally the most incel man in America, dude. All right, let's watch the creepiest guy a tier uh, list of cre Maurice has ever seen. Listen, this man is from Florida. So you know he's had his fair share. He's had his mouthful, if you will. He's had loads, thick, fat, loads of creepy guys living in Florida. And if he tells me, if this Florida man tells me this is the creepiest guy he's ever seen, that's got to be saying something. Creepy guys on the internet, the guy I'm about to show you would be the undeniable top tier triple S super smoking style creep god. The individual you're about to see almost makes that guy that was sending pig carcasses to the co-worker he loved seem sane. I know I've called one other person in a video the creepiest guy ever, but the man I'm about to show you today, I think is far more disturbed, so much so that I'm actually somewhat concerned for the safety of the people around him. I'm sure you've seen this video floating around right now because it's going viral, and for good reason, it is scary. The Cracker Barrel, and I was going to play a song for a woman that I kind of like, mm -hmm. and uh, I got there, and she saw me and she immediately pulled away, and uh, I, I wasn't forcing her li to listen or anything, you know, mm -hmm. I just wanted to play the song for her. You know, give her her own choice yeah. if she wanted to be with me. Now, I'll quickly bring you up to speed on what's happening right now with the lore. So, the cops are there because the guy called them, I believe. So, he's a Kaioken times 10 weirdo. He called the cops because he wanted to report this girl's dad, a girl that he chased around while playing his music to try and win her love. And his music is downright horrifying. It sounds like five trash cans being violently slammed together while someone's getting murdered in an alleyway for the vocals. I have been so deep in this rabbit hole learning about this man. It's been like an episode of Mike Rowe's Dirty Jobs just gathering all this information. I'm gonna play you just a quick snippet from one of his tracks. Okay. You'd be lying if you thought that this was the outcome. I would be lying. I did not think that this was the song, okay? Like, I, I thought, like, it was going to be, like, a shitty Dave Matthews band. Shittier. Like, Dave Matthews band is kind of shitty. Um, uh, you know, I, I thought it was going to be Dave Matthews band, but, like, even shittier somehow. I was not expecting this. This is one of those instances where you can't even say this shit goes hard on mute because just everything is bad. <laughs> Voice of an angel. I can't believe this plan didn't work. It's I cannot comprehend how Moist Critical arrived at the truth so adequately. He put it aptly when he said, this is like a bunch of trash cans being slammed together. He's 100% correct. So romantic, it sounds straight out of a Disney film. He also keeps saying he was giving her a choice to listen to his music and fall in love with him. Even though there's no choice here because he was stalking her and chasing her, playing this over his fucking boombox, I guess. But anyway... Uh, she was so frightened that she ended up calling her dad, and her dad got in contact with him and said some mean things to him. So the guy then called the cops on the dad, hoping to, like, get him arrested or file something against him. You know? Does she know you? Yeah, I worked with her there for, like, five, six months. Did y'all have a relationship? No, we were talking a little bit, but it never really got serious. Okay. But anyways, I pulled up there. And I was in the other parking lot, and I saw her get in her car, and I, saw, I was like, oh, shoot, it's my moment. So I pulled up there next to her, and she pulled away from me, and uh, so I chased her a little bit, just because, I uh -huh. you know, women are crazy. Like, I felt like she like, wanted me to chase her. Do you her. not think chasing somebody's crazy? He said, I chased her a little bit, then followed it up with, women are crazy. Dog! Dog, self-reflection! Take a shower and reflect on what you just said, homie. Dude. This, oh my God. This, this is literally the most incel man in America, dude. He said, women be crazy. You know, they be running when I'm chasing them. That's wild, dude. That is, when you're so deep in the cut, when you are so deep, when you elevate it into the fucking red pill, black pill, I don't know what pill comes after that. You're on the... You're on the women are wrong always unconditionally so much so that they are behaving in a matter inconsistent with human beings when I'm chasing them and they're running away. That's crazy, bro. That is, oh my God, that's crazy.
Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank God this dude does not have guns. Please tell me he doesn't have guns. This is school shooter shit. Okay, straight up. Is this Blake Masters? Is he running for Arizona? Con is he running for Arizona Senate, this guy? Well, it's just like I, I only went like a couple of blocks down the street. God, it's so sad that <laughs> women can't appreciate a good, nice guy like this. Women are so weird. How can they not appreciate a complete psychopath chasing them around for a few blocks while blaring music that sounds like the soundtrack to a slaughterhouse? Just saying, don't you think chasing somebody's crazy when they, when they obviously don't want to... Well, I had my song playing and I wanted to like her to hear it maybe. Well, apparently she didn't want to hear it, right? So what else happened? Let's get on these. His complete lack of remorse and disconnection from reality is startling. Oh no, it's not weird. Like I'm not weird. What what are you why are you trying to say that I'm the crazy one for chasing her? I had my song playing. Oh, did I forget to mention that? My song was playing, so now everything's justified. Like I wanted her to hear it so she'd have a choice to fall in love with me, obviously. Her, her father called me up and he made some threats to me and to my life. Okay. And so I just want to have his name what, on file. What, what did he say to you? Uh, I think he said he's going to stab me. Like, but he, he's like cussing did at me. He said that or he did say that? He said, he says, I'm going to do something to you. I swear I do something to you. For chasing your daughter? Yeah, but it wasn't chasing. It was like. Bro, good luck getting some fucking hick ass cop to side with you on that one. Okay. This dude is literally, this dude is literally one second away from forgetting that the person he's talking to is white, okay? He's literally about to be like, I'm about to treat you like I do in them bad neighborhoods, boy. You know what I mean? He's literally like, like, you know his ass is like, I would have fucking killed you if it was my daughter that you were chasing. So, good thing uh, that, uh, you know, you called the cops instead of... Uh, you know, hailing this man as a hero after he inevitably stabs you to death for chasing his daughter. Going down a couple streets, like, that's like fun to women. Like, women like that a little bit. Okay, no, 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 I don't believe it. 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 This has to be an op. This is so meticulously and perfectly designed to churn out incel talking points that I do not believe someone is this level deranged on the, the uh, websites that we all know about, that we all talk about. There's no fucking way, dude. This has to be. This has to be an op. This has to be staged. I've never heard someone so clearly demonstrate their fucking mania. This is like Paul de uh, uh trying to murder Nancy Pelosi times 10, okay? It's like he, he's saying everything that you hear. He literally thought he had the shield of anonymity talking to these cops like he's on a fucking 4chan poll forum. He thinks he thinks this is like our slash male fashion advice or something or whatever. What are those fucking uh, dumbass ass I guess that one is not that bad, but you know what I mean. The excitement. No, they don't. Fucking unhinged logic. No, I wasn't chasing her. It was like minor stalking you know that's nothing women love to be stalked like it's fun to them it's exciting god what an absolute lunatic so yeah the dad calls apparently made threats against him because i'm assuming his daughter called him in a panic like holy shit this guy's coming after me and i'm fucking horrified so the dad is trying his best to like stop anything bad from happening so i'm sure the dad in this like passionate moments like leave her the fuck alone or i'm gonna do something about it i'll give you a knuckle sandwich why i oughta i don't think there's anything wrong with that at all to try and protect his daughter keep her safe doing what he can from a distance like get the fuck away from her you creep well what about like if i was a porn. father i'd probably tell you the same thing what about like <laughs> bds and porn where women like to be have rape fantasies well, apparently this girl oh my god it's like actually yeah he's trying to debate lord a potato brother you are so lost in the sauce that you have lost the 40%, okay? You've lost the 40% brigade. Are you kidding me? You are trying to be like, well, uh, what about BDSM fantasies? Um, it's okay for me to uh, mm -mm, stalk a woman because uh, some people like BDSM. That's crazy, dude. Why are you trying to debate Lord yourself? He's, oh my God, I love this video. I love this video. I hope he goes to jail. This is literally when debate lording unironically throws you in jail. This is fucking fantastic. Please. please. This is the greatest audit the audit video I've ever seen. Well, who knows? Most women do like having rape fantasies. What? It took us only about a minute for him to start mentioning rape. 
after talking about stalking and, you know, downplaying how stalking's not a big deal. Immediately brings it to BDSM and rape fantasies. From fucking out of nowhere. Oh, you're gonna call me crazy for chasing her? Well, what about rape? You know, there's the rape fan. This is why I think the 80s were horrible. John Cusack holding the boombox outside a chick's window was weird as fuck and creepy and it should have been labeled as a predator. Although, wait, what? This is not the guy. Where's the guy? These are comments against him, right? No, these guys are, these guys, this is comments against him. He has a YouTube channel where he does First Amendment audits. Oh, dude, dude, trust me, trust me, trust me. I know this is a First Amendment audit, the auditor shit. But chasing this girl is not healthy and smart to do will lead to someone getting hurt bad never ends well. These are just regular comments, bro. These are people dunking on the guy. I want to see his comments so bad. Please, please. I want to see what he said. I hope someone has an archive. I want to know everything about this man. I want to know everything about this man who recorded himself having this conversation with cops and thought it was great to fucking post all of this on his YouTube channel. Fantasy is important. What about that? Hmm? And then he has the gall, the chutzpah, to say most women have a rape fantasy. It, it, it's blowing my mind here, this guy's thought process. It, fucking crazy. I'm also 100% sure he's never had an actual conversation with a woman. When he mentioned at the beginning they were kind of talking, I imagine it's because they were co-workers, and she said, like, hi to him occasionally, or, like, while they were working, were like, hey, need to do this. And that, to him... Jacob Yerkes is out there. He's, he's active on all platforms and is scary. Uh, wait, what? Oh, he's been arrested now in Tennessee. Want to rape and pillage, but all the women are willing. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. It was like meaningful interaction with a human female. Uh, this is like a scary individual. His brain immediately jumps to rape when confronted with his actions. Do you say she does? I don't know. But also cop brain is pretty funny. You think she does then? He's like, hold on, you got a good point there. You, you're you right. Women do have rape fantasy. What about, wait a minute, does she do? Does she have a rape fantasy? Like, what if he said yes? Uh, all right then, sir. You ha you you run along now. <laughs> no. Well, so, so what do you want us to do? Well, I just want you to get his name on file, just in case he does do anything do you, do to you me. you know his name? I know his daughter's name. What, do you know his name? I know... Her name, I don't know his name. He called me from a restricted phone number. Okay. Here's, here, here's my suggestion. Leave her alone. A great suggestion from the officer here. Superb. Just get the fuck away from her. Leave her alone. So Bro, pre-crime. Pre-crime. This is like one instance where it's like totally valid to arrest someone premeditatively. These motherfuckers will find a million different reasons to beat the shit out of and lock up Teenagers that they think are like being mean to them. Uh, I don't know, homeless people that are standing around minding their own goddamn business. But the one time when you're like, hey, maybe you should like check this guy out a little bit. You know, maybe bring him in. It's like, nope. Just leave her alone. You're good, sir. You're a good, wholesome fella. Solves all the issues here. Case closed. Didn't even need Dr. Phil on this one to get to the bottom of it. The solution was obvious. Just get away from her. Well, this is one song I made, and this was the final chance I was going to have. Here's my chance. Here, here's my advice. It's over. Leave her alone. Okay. Because fathers will hurt you over their daughters. Yeah, but that's the thing. is She needs to have her own free will, man. You listen, do not understand? Listen, I'm a man myself, listen, bro, and listen, I have needs listen, myself. She, she's choosing her free will by telling her daddy what happened to you, and I'm telling you, stay away from her because he will hurt you probably. She's being controlled by him. For some reason, he's so delusional, he keeps thinking that she doesn't have her own authority to make her own choices, yet keeps saying she needs her own free will. Because she's a woman. That's it. That's why. Well, she had her own free will by running away from you. By, like, being scared of you, running away, and then telling her dad that is her making choices to try and protect herself from you. Because you are the threat. You're the fucking danger that's knocking on her- No, that's literally why he thinks that. Because she's a woman. He's like- that's the main reason why he does not think a woman has personhood. That's it. Like 90% of the fucking insult, anger, and everything else that revolves around that anger stems from, one, thinking that women are not full human beings, and two, being entitled to that as though it's a commodity that you uh, deserve to have or something. Like, that's it. 
door. And she is responding with her own free will of getting the fuck away from you as fast and efficiently as possible. It's just such a scary thought process because in his mind he's totally justified in everything that happens here and it's all normal to him. And the fact that she's not in love with him right now, not in his arms, in his bed, is because her dad is forcing her to make choices to split the two apart. It's not her making those choices because he's perfect. The guy with his music, his mixtape that sounds like five fucking squirrels being blown to pieces, he thinks his music's the best, and he's the best man in the world, so there's no way she is choosing on her own free will to not be with him. That is a dangerous thought process. That's fine. That's fine. That's, that's her choice, right? Free well, choice, free will? I think she should go do porn. Okay, you need to leave. It's legal. <laughs> oh, that's the best one! He's like, alright, that's a bridge too far, brother! Okay, you need to leave. <laughs> Most Huckleberry Finn ass motherfucker, bro. Yo, I love this cop, dude. Now you crossed the line now. Pornos? Not on my watch, pal. Fine, that's fine. That's, that's her choice, right? Free well, choice, free will. I think she should go do porn. Okay, you need to leave. That's great. That's a bridge too far. <laughs> Oh, that's that's what crossed the line for him. He's like, oh, porn? No. Rape fantasies, okay. Uh, so what if she did? Huh? I don't know. We don't know if she has rape fantasies or not. But yeah, pornos? It's legal. You need to leave. Well, We're not doing anything. You need to leave. I'm, I'm having a discussion on it. I'm having a discussion telling you to leave. I actually appreciate how the officer handles this situation here. He's not giving this guy an inch. She is fighting him on every point he tries to make. Not that any of his points have any logical basis whatsoever or any sound reasoning. But I like that the officer's pushing back on everything. And he crosses a line when he says she should do porn. Where does that even come from? <laughs> everything this guy is saying is a yeah. giant red flag. And he needs legitimate help. I was going to let her make her own choice after the song. Well, she's made her choice. And I just don't think she had a reasonable opportunity to make a choice because I'm going to blow up and I'm going to be a famous how, DJ and I'm going to be how, like... How old is she? He still really believes that because she didn't finish listening to his song, she didn't have the I'm right... I'm going to be honest. I don't know what's more insane. The fact that he's like definitely a, a, a rapist stalker who thinks he's in the right here or the fact that he thinks he's going to blow up from that music. That's how bad the music is. You can say the first thing on its face. You're like, the first thing, of course, in like 99.9% .9 of circumstances, the first one is literally the most insane thing. What can be more insane than that? And then you hear this. And you're like, okay, maybe this is the one instance out of the 0.01% we're thinking you're going to blow up with this shit. Might be just marginally more insane than the other thing. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Don't underestimate the indie community. Stop. <laughs> oh, he said he's gonna make it big, dude. I'm, I'm having a discussion. Guys, I have an opportunity to make a choice because I'm going to blow up and I'm going to be a famous how, DJ and I'm going to be how, like... How old is she? He still really believes that because... She, oh, he's like, we're facing a libertarian. How old is she? <laughs> she didn't finish listening to his song. She didn't have the right to say no. She didn't have reasonable basis for declining and rejecting him, I suppose. He believes he's going to blow... Okay, dude. This is like, this homie is just straight the most like chaotic fucking little incel. He thinks he can like debate Lord the cops and he thinks he can debate the woman into like, you know, getting raped by him. Okay. He literally is like, no, actually she will make the correct choice when she hears my music. It's like, dude, this guy literally is a serial killer. Okay. In the making. This is Jeffrey Dahmer. When he gets, like, caught by the cops one time, well, not one, but, like, four times, you know what I mean? You are in the presence of a mass shooter, okay? If he hasn't done it yet, he certainly will. I am telling you. Blow up and be a famous DJ or this and that, thus she's making a huge mistake and needs to... This is what porn does to a man, hashtag brain broken? Yeah, dude, you, I'm glad you got... I'm glad you got the best... Uh, message out of that. Yeah, that's what porn does to a man. 
No, no, no. This is not patriarchy. This is not fucking male entitlement, incel fucking culture running rampant. No, this isn't the the idea that like men think they can fucking uh, do this kind of shit. Because famously, before porn, famously before porn, women never had these kinds of things happen to them. You know what I mean? So here's the thing, okay? Porn does have the capacity to break people's brains. I'm not going to act like it doesn't, okay? As anything does. However, this notion that this man is the way he is is because of porn is crazy, okay? First and foremost, do we even know he's pro-porn? Because half of these guys are literally tradcaths who then think, who then say the exact same things about porn as you do. Like, he might have been sarcastic when he was talking about like, oh, well, you know, she should do porn. When he talked about like, oh, she should do porn actually, you know, that's a, that's a big, uh, like, as far as I've seen in the incel circles, like, they're not exactly fond of pornography. That's just him being like, she wants to be a whore doing porn, which would allow me to be a psycho to her because she's asking for it. Reconsider the choice and her dad's making her choose this. It's fucking terrifying. Hello, shit. Oh! Oh! Of course! Yikes! Fuck! God damn, why? They always, dude. Lucas Timothy! Why? Why are they always like this? Oh my god, dude. What the fuck? You know what? Lindsay's dad. I hope you see this fucking video. Now, just like in The Dark Knight, we have the Joker turning the camera on himself here and we get to take a look at him. And he really still believes everything he's done is justified and that the girl and her dad are the villains here. You know what happens when women don't ever, you know, come to terms with themselves? The bad shit happens. I don't know. Something, um, the cops want to deny. And this right here, I think, should be taken very seriously. This is not a mentally well person. And this comes across as an actual threat against the safety of both the girl and- Okay, his Twitter is out there. I'm surprised this motherfucker has not said something. I gotta, I gotta look through his Twitter, man. I need to know. What is his takes on leftist politics? You know what I'm saying? Come on. And I wasn't- If you are not a criminal, our society will draw you to being a criminal- Oh my lord. He's a Bernie bro. Yeah, yeah, totally. And her father here. He's already shown that he has no problem stalking women, and I really think this needs to be looked at seriously to make sure that he's not in a position to do harm to anyone around him. It's just very concerning. Me trying to get her to be straight? Something is wrong about that? I don't see why these traditional ass motherfuckers I'm sorry, what? Bro! Okay, this is not the point. But if there was literally a concept such as turning someone, the only thing that this motherfucker would be turning people is gayer, okay? Every woman turns more lesbian at the sight of this fucking sm swelly... Swelly, smelly, sweaty, incel nerd. What the fuck? Fuckers think they can speak shit whenever it's this woke, belligerent, LGBT shit that has her right now. I just don't see it. I'm older than her fucking father. That's how I feel right now. What? How old is this girl?
Oh my God. Oh my God. <clears throat> yeah, th this rant's really going off the fucking rails. Uh, so apparently. You, you can't call people incels? Brother, if I can't call this person an incel, who is an incel? Apparently, the girl isn't interested in men, and his plan was to make her interested in men by giving her his love as well as letting her listen to his songs. And when she still wasn't interested, she blames the dad. Like, the dad is the one that's made his daughter not like him, and then says that he is older than her dad. Like, it's, it's so fucking wild. I need but, to watch the original now. But it is all very concerning to listen to. Uh, the only group of people that don't actually have any kind of self-awareness about this shit, and when, like, one of their own actually gets ma uh, national mainstream prominence, and they genuinely celebrate it instead of saying, oh, no, he's like a gay psyop nerd, are the incels, okay? When Republicans, when, when one of the groiped up like alt-right Nazi, neo-Nazi dudes go out, goes out and like gets domed by fucking Paul Pelosi or whatever, they'll turn around. All the other groiped up Nazis will turn around and be like, oh, he's not one of us. He's a gay loser. Incels, on the other hand, are on an entirely separate playing field where like if one of their own goes out and does a mass shooting, they literally celebrate it. No matter how gross, sweaty, awful, weird he looks. Okay. I need to see more of this though. Oh my God. I need to see, I need to know everything about this fucking freak. Stalker. This is titled stalker goes to cops to complain about being threatened for stalking personal information removed here. This is absolutely the most devastating Audit the audit shit I've ever seen. We have this dude's Twitter. He's still out and about. He's just like straight up posting. He's just straight up posting about uh, some of the most insane nonsense over here. And also his music. Including this one. Me, I identify as SS, LGBTQ, super straight, isn't a real identity. Me, super straight. Ego beings are maggots. I guess I want sharks with laser beams attached to their foreheads. What? I mean, he's like... Oh, it turns out there's like... Plenty more. Some people re responded this was a mental break. Something just snapped. That's not what I've seen for people who personally know slash knew who Jacob Yorkers was. Many of his female friends have had ever escalating uncomfortable harassing encounters with him. He's been doing this for a while. Suck this dick, bitch, or make slow love in the water with me, or you would make fun because OND never really made you come. Bro, I feel like every step that this man has taken is unironically like built in a laboratory to showcase some of the worst impacts, some of the worst aspects, and, and what happens when people go down the fucking incel rabbit hole. 